Hey, Michelle. Michelle. Darren Close. Michelle, Lisa, hello. Hello. Thank you, Iona. Uh, Bismillah. Hi, Krista. I'm going to put my mic on after I eat so you guys don't hear this. Eating sounds too loud. I'm Sarah Jean. Why come so long? Hello. Hello, Aerotrans. Thank you. Yeah, it's an undercap. But I bought a few of them. I forgot to put it in my video. I'm so mad at myself. Hey, Jack. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Okay. A level. Broke. I have some chapatis fries. I'll show you guys as I eat it. Hi, Vanessa. Spicy chicken. Pickle soup. No, Chris, not yet. There's a tan one. Thank you, Jaina. It's a little intense, but I did it quick. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah Jean, that's funny. <laughs> Good surprise. Chipotle, yum. Good stuff. Hi, Caroline. Hey, Freya. So I had a nap <laughs> today after Asur. This thing blew up. Hey, Blue Plot. I'm giving Mimi. Mimi was a snack. Welcome to Lamsu Ann. So, anyways, I woke up to hearing the Adan for um, Maghrib for breakfast time. So, I'm like, oh no. So, I woke up, just had like some little things in the fridge, some dates ordered, and it was busy. So, food just got here. Really, Earth Trans? Hi, little nitty. I was just filming that mall Chinese vlog days ago, but posting it now to cover your border open. Why do people care? If, like, even if that was the case, what's the tea? Like, really? Yes, Brooke. <laughs> After so her post Fadger dreams? Yeah, I had some weird dreams last night. Oh my gosh. I had a dream that I had to do number one very bad. And, um, like, so bad. And I kept having to go into the stranger's home to go to the bathroom, and it wasn't, like, giving me relief. And then on the, while I'm, like, going, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I have a catheter. And then I had to try to get to a clinic. Oh, my God, it was just weird. <laughs> Blue pot. After fasting time, I guess. No, yeah, I still do wear makeup. Whatever. Hello, Paul Freed. Hi. Chicken sandwich. Yum. I love those. Uh, sure, Michelle. You guys can ask questions. If I'll answer them, that's a different story. <laughs> By the way, I saw a few comments. What kind of pizza? Yum, Krista. What's the beef ribs? <laughs> I'm eating sambusa, fries. Chapati 65. Anyway, somebody must have been saying something that's not true from one of the reaction channels. I can probably guess who. That my husband doesn't have a job, so I, I get these comments. I can tell when someone's been talking crap because I get stupid comments, okay? Number one, he has a business. So how does he have no job? Thank you, Jenna. Hi, Star. A22 here. Catnip, yum. Number two, how do you know he doesn't have another job? Like, you don't know anything about this, anything about his life. You don't know anything about this situation, okay? But if it's coming from the reactor, reactor, I think it is. If you're going to call anyone's man a bum, <laughs> What about yours? Your history of uh, men. Who got you eight evictions? So please. It's no one's business, yeah. But. People like to say, look at Pete, he never had a job. Actually, in his defense, 
we worked at the same call center, making decent money for the time. At least it's a job, okay? Don't crap on my job, I guess. We had a job. We were younger. We worked at the same place for years together. Then he worked at Walmart. Then he had another customer service job for a few years, which he walked every single day, like a couple of miles to get to, in the snow or not. The only time... And he has a job now. The only time he didn't have a job was when he was doing YouTube. Hi, squeaky friend. And he was earning some money. So if someone's going to sit there on their high horse and lie and say that this person was a bum, didn't have a job, <clears throat> and then make fun of me for being with the swordfish, who was a leech, the only, only person... The person I was with before, um, uh, no, after Pete's, had, still has a job, had a job the whole time. So where is that coming from? Lies, lies, lies. And, um, yeah, if you're going to sit on your high horse and say that my men that have been with ha haven't had jobs and are bums, how about look at the bum you were with who caused you, apparently, according to you, to go to court eight times for not paying rent. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> I wish I could have no job. Start a social media account. People think it's like easy. It's easy if you're going to use my name for clout and views. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, I had a hysterectomy. It's easy to go online and say things like, you know, food beauty's fat. She's in a fake marriage. All the same crap that's parroted all over Girl World. Yeah, that'll get you easy money. <laughs> go for it but if you're doing things from scratch it's a different story I know I'm an alicat exactly star I don't give a crap about him blue pot whatever <laughs> what do you want me to say touche He's, no, he's here, Brenda. He's usually always here. Um, he has a business. He has business partners, but he's also in the business. Hmm. Um. Hi, Levy. Because he's available a lot during the time when you go live. By that, lo by that logic, then the people who stream snipe me and react to my content almost immediately after also have no jobs, like they claim, right? Because they always have the time. Look at, look at uh, just beaten today. She has all the time in the world, every single time I go live, to stream snipe me so she can afford to take her kids somewhere. A lot of free time. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> the bees are sprayed. No, the bees are sprayed all done. I still have some. But that was like a... Just kind of like a... A little bit of time thing. I was like, make me a piece of spray. But if I was in Canada, I'd be able to get get it to you guys. Shipping is too costly here. Hi, Levy. Don't trust anyone. It's hard to. Ooh, yum. Watermelon soda. Okay, this is chicken 65 chapati. So it's chapati bread, which is this. I guess I'm always eating. What, what about it? At least I don't hide behind a camera fat. I show myself. And it's like a homemade Indian bread. Very popular here. And it has chicken 65, which I don't know what that even means. It's like a sauce for chicken and french fries and like spicy mayo. It's so good. I didn't check anybody out, Connie. No. I wasn't checking anybody out. I can honestly say, with my whole chest, this whole circumference, I have not seen a more handsome person in Kuwait than Salah. So, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not just saying that. I mean it. So why, when I have eye candy like that, would I bother looking at anyone else? Maybe I was staring at something else, I don't know. <laughs> Retired chicken? <laughs> a chicken 65 
Oh my gosh. Natalia, I missed Quitsineries. Ooh, curry, Jack, yum. Where are the mods? It's okay, I can handle people. Brenda. No! I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. Oh, I love these things. These? I made a song called Handsomest Man. I don't front, okay? Babe! Hi, babe! Hi, Roach! I mean it. Hi, Patrick! Some busik. We saw the Snickers. <laughs> no one's perfect. <laughs> Syrian food. Falafel. I know other countries have falafel too. Food from, where is it, babe? Syrian, Lebanon. The Levant countries all have similar um, dishes, but... I did my clue once. <laughs> yeah, squeaky. I agree. Hi, Gemini. Hi, Fernanda. Someone said chicken 65 is retired chicken. I get to eat internationally. Mm. This one is not crispy anymore because it's delivered, but let me pick them up from breakfast places and they're fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> I actually can see that. Squeaky Adonis is awesome. Did you see their olive bar? That and Farm Boy. Thank you, Shelly. Tastes like old Christmas. Like when you open a box of like old Christmas decorations. I know what you mean. Yeah, babe. Hi, Rhonda. Oh. Can you be my nurse? <sighs> Each country has its own way to make falafel or other stuff. Yeah. Hi, Gemini Gem. Loyalty 24 minds. Oh my God. Ready, set. You're getting the bat wing. Please. These are so good. I know someone's counting. Where's Henry Reed? Remember the person who used to count the lockmas I would eat? Who's counting how many sambusek I eat? One more chicken, 65. Anyway. Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, Lisa. <laughs> nice. How much warm up? Nice. Nice squeaky from. <laughs> Blue pot, yeah. Probably. True, Natalia. Latte Americano. I like cappuccinos. I think an order. Cappuccino, latte, and and then Americano. <laughs> Americano feels too raw. Like no one's holding your hand in the process of drinking it. Nice, Paul. Good luck. Mashallah. <laughs> Lisa, this one doesn't seem to be deep fried, but it probably has the same sauce they use. What, Blue Pot? <laughs> I know, squeaky. I know what you mean. You like the mall vlog? That was a fun day yesterday. <laughs> like, um, I walked a lot, but yesterday, my leg wasn't hurting too bad, but I still walked slow. It's weird. I find my leg doesn't have the same strength as it used to since this incident. Your life at the Villa Pre online dating was fun and harmless. I agree, Blue Pot. I agree. It was fun. No, wait, was that the Lockman era? No. Hi, Joanne. I'm feeling okay, actually. Hi, Tracy. How are you? If you could get a dog, which breed? Probably a golden retriever or a borzoi. A borzoi. Something with a long beak, I can grab and kiss it. It was not so yesterday, according to internet detectives. There's like literally, like, how can they prove anything? Like what? It was literally yesterday. Hmm. I can look for the receipt from the grocery place. Oh, 
Eh. Probably already threw it in the garbage. I'll go look at my garbage just to shut people up. <laughs> I've never been on one. A cruise, no. Your filter changed the Chinese box from a square to a rectangle? Oh I can't. If aliens exist in this world, come adopt, come adopt me. Come take me away from this planet. I don't want to live on the same planet with morons like this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> No probing and we're good. <laughs> Vlog from the ship. I do want to go on one someday. <laughs> yes, babe. If they had a life, they wouldn't be obsessed with others online. Yes. This is true. <clears throat> I mean, think about it this way. When you watch a movie, this is entertainment, okay? But when you watch a movie... You watch a TV series, do you then log off and then obsess about every little detail about that thing that you watched? Oh yeah, the Snickers? Actually, everything is still in the bags. The Snickers... There's still some left. <laughs> There's a few gone, a couple gone. These, you have to... These guys? Okay, this is a treat. Syrian dried up cut. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you like fruit leather, oh, you will love these. How are you guys on vacation? Hi, Cream. I think it's funny how they think you're this diabolical mastermind and con con constantly trying to bamboozle us. Yeah, like I'm constantly trying. That's, that's what's annoying. It's like none of it makes sense. Why? What's the motivation to do this? You know, like. Mm. When I have a health journey, Shelly, I'll share. But right now, I don't know. As you can see, it's not that great. Thank you, Kim Richards. How the heck is that your business? Chantal ain't your close family or friend when she's not paying your bills. What did they say? I'll go get Harry after and give him a French fry. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, it's like a fruit roll up, but thick and apricot. Oh, Natalia, no. Vanessa. I need five gallons of water now. I'll be right back. Don't be while I'm away. You hear me? Boulevard. Okay. So yeah, before you come for my husband with his job and job shame him. You're going to tell me that nobody in those audiences works at a Wendy's or something? So don't job shame people. I'm not saying Salah works at a Wendy's. I'm just saying people use that as like a lower end job. And if you're insulting him, you're insulting everybody in the audience who has like a, a lower paying job or um, a job that you don't think is sufficient, even though you don't know how much Salah makes. You don't know. You know what I mean? His job is fine. It's perfect. Obviously. And if it wasn't, he could do something else because he had jobs. Like, he supported himself with his business before he met me. You know? It's no one's business. No business! No one's business! I want to work at Wendy's. You get free food, right? <laughs> Hi, Ruby! Cheez-Its are good. Hi, Lynn! Yeah, even if you work at Dollar Tree, it's still income. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Imagine someone said that I don't have a job while I'm a business owner. I can buy their basement rent. <laughs> their basement rent. <clears throat> the apartment situation? You mean the change of furniture? Well. apartments yeah well I was getting like I liked our old places okay but I was kind of like 
a few things were happening in my brain. I was thinking, I think the no windows were getting to me a little bit. Like I don't, I don't like we always have our curtains. I don't know. Like just having them, I think is like helping. I never open my curtains, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I just kind of wanted somewhere bigger, a little bit, a bigger kitchen. Um, I was thinking like I really want a cat, and they have to have windows. So a few things were going on. So we moved. Like, of course we're gonna move from his bachelor pad. Like he was living there alone. <sighs> it was cozy though, but. And then we moved to the other one. Now this one has two bedrooms. A nice view of the sea. Yeah, I agree, babe. Mind your business, touch grass, bye. Blue pickle soup? We need to see outside. <laughs> yeah, that was why yesterday was a nice time because I did go outside. <laughs> it's not that busy during the week. Things are more busy on weekends and we avoid that. But before Iftar, you know, it's not as busy. He had his own house, like, in his own place. I didn't mean, like, a mansion or a big house. Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> Preparing it, sorry. Yeah. Like, you know what? I was watching very popular, like, millions of subscribers. A Muslim couple on TikTok. They're like, have iftar with us. They got in the car and went to take it drive through. Nobody's cooking a huge iftar meal every day. Like, no way. Sorry. But iftar just means breaking your fast. It could be anything. <laughs> it could be worms if you wanted to. Oh, no, I don't think worms are halal. <clears throat> Blue pot, like, why would I do that, though? Like, I, I didn't say that. I have my own debts. I have my own bills. I need to make money, too. But to say that, I, like, somebody who doesn't earn any money is just not right. And... They can't keep the same consistency with their stories and lives. First is, I'm so broke, I can't afford to go anywhere, I can't afford to do anything. But yeah, my husband's with me for money, which I don't have, apparently. Um, you know, so it's like super stupid and inconsistent. It depends, Gemini Gem. You can find like cheap places, but they're not posh, you know? <laughs> It's, a, it's cheaper for sure. Like this place for a two bedroom. And it's like, number one, you never pay any of your utilities. It's just rent and that's it. And some money that you give to the superintendent every month because they also clean your car. Because your car will get a lot of sand dust over time. Yeah, if he didn't love me, like why would he be with me? Like, look at all the problems I have. <laughs> yeah, he's young, like... I can't have kids, I have all these diseases. Well, not like, you know what I mean? I have a lot of illnesses, a lot of problems. I'm not making what I, a fraction of what I used to. We're not going to Canada. I don't think I'll get a maid after all. No, I'm keeping up with it for now. <laughs> Sometimes like, I have days where I'm not feeling well, you know? These haters, I can't. <laughs> really selling yourself. <laughs> well, I make him laugh. We have fun together. I'm very loving. Um, what else? I'm beautiful. Right, babe? <laughs> um, what else? <clears throat> I can sing like anyone, no one else. <laughs> Snoozy, I'm eating sambusa, fries, chicken 65, falafel, government funded falafel, fruit leather. And that's it, now I'm full. Oh, done. The love documentary coming up. Thanks, Michelle. It's a whole circumference. Hi, Sylvayel. Can you sing Seasons Change? When the seasons change, my love won't change, y'all. I can't do my Monty impression and my um, Skinny Queen impression are the exact same. I can't differentiate the two. <laughs> stress me. Yeah, that's true. I always go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Susie. Did you see someone literally counted the frames in your videos? What? <laughs> Stop. <sighs> Alien invasion, inshallah, soon. What do you mean counted frames? What does that even mean? Can you speak in, uh, you know, terms of people who don't, uh, like, non-obsessive terms, please? <sighs> For a Garfunkel. I could, but no. Hi, <laughs> Nosferatu. 
<laughs> Rhonda. Someone said she sounds like a long fart, and I can't. I can't. That is so true. Friends from chin to stomach. Blue pot. Or Brenda, whoever said that. However you want to spend your precious time on this planet, go for it. I'm fine. I don't hide it. There you go. Well, I mean, I have to hide it. <laughs> sort of. But before I was Muslim, did I ever hide my body? No. Do these morons hide their bodies? Yes. Do they look worse than me and Amberlynn? Yes. Egg on legs, egg on legs situation type deal. Oh yeah, Vanessa. She was cool. Thank you, Marvelous Bailey. Ghostface. Hi, Ghostface. Okay, I need to record a Madonna song after this. Which one? <coughs> Vanessa. S jam in disguise. Oh yeah, remember when he said he was coming? He was in Ottawa and I freaked out. Well, what I was going through, I was paranoid. At the end of the day, the haters' opinions and praise of fans don't matter. You have to start taking care of yourself as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You're out of breath. I already did like Isla Bonita. It's up there. There's a picture of me with Madonna hair, but I look more like Mozart, but whatever. Take a bow, the night is over, this masquerade is getting older, lights are low. No, I want to sing um, something, it's like the, when she was doing the Immaculate Collection, her voice was really nasally. And then whenever she got to like, you know, bedtime stories and albums like that, it was more. <clears throat> I'm hung up. No, I don't like that song. I want you the right way. Your relationship with Allah is not for anyone else to interpret or judge. Thank you very much. God gave me this personality, okay? So, <laughs> he made me a beezer. La Vida Loca. What is this one? My birthday is in three days. Ray of Light. No, I don't like that one either. Cover a RuPaul. Paul song? Don't you like the prayer? It's <laughs> well, I like that song, though. But yeah, it's probably not the most appropriate, but... Blue pot, can you say something inflammatory? Get out of here, you Josh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kim Richards, that would definitely be not good to sing. Who's that girl? Baby, yeah, who's that girl? Madonna classics are the best, yeah. Can I put you on speaker and you tell my manager there's an emergency and I have to leave work right now? Okay. What's your emergency? <clears throat> Okay, am I on speaker? <laughs> Hi, Gregory! And what kind of job do you do so I don't know what kind of emergency? You know, like... Everyone evacuate. Somebody spilled all the cookie for cereal in aisle 7. Everyone go home. <laughs> Hi, Gregory! I go space. Oh, sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry for your loss. Mae West? Oh, I don't know anything by, by Mae West. I don't think Tina Bear. <laughs> <laughs> eh... My intro. Tree lady. <laughs> oh, chef shit. I can't wait to try some of your bubble canoes. <laughs> Hi, SUP. Hi, Heather. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> you have just tested positive for Ebola. <laughs> Jenna's dog. Jenna just tested positive for Ebola. She needs to quarantine immediately. Bye. Your sofa looks so comfortable for naps. <laughs> yeah, look at all the pillows. <laughs> That's nap position pillows. <clears throat> Thank you, Cynthia. No more talk of SJM. Eileen is SJM. I'm just joking. <laughs> My teeth are shiny today. Your dog fell down the stairs. Go tend to your dog. <laughs> oh no. The ever relocating pillows. <laughs> yeah. Frame by frame. Tell me you have zero life and anyone in your life who loves you without telling me that you have no one who loves you and no life. Because if I was in the life of somebody who I loved who was doing these things, if I caught them, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing a frame by frame of somebody's chins. I would kindly, gently remind them how pathetic they are and to please seek help out of love. This is tough love. And obviously they have no one in their life to do that. 
Smelly Kelly. Um, I don't know. Smelly Kelly, probably soon. Hopefully. <laughs> right, babe? Like, come on. No way, Black Celine started a channel? Get out of here. Rhonda. Oh, I missed you, by the way, Rhonda. Okay, I have to go check that out. Yes, we do. Is it still the same, Black Celine Kisses? She's funny. So funny. And good at roasting. We all feel like that at times, girl. <laughs> uh, the new Beetlejuice. I hope so, too, Sylvia. The trailer looks... I'm excited to see the same people, but then I see then I saw Jenna Ortega. And like they just like they just I hate when they use one actor or actress and they use them for they typecast them like she was in uh she was Wednesday Adams, you know, they always try to put her in these like gothy moody kind of like, you know, I'm too goth to be cool, I'm too I'm goth so I'm cool kind of movies. It's like annoying. I don't know. Thanks, hello more. A new omen? I haven't even seen the original. No, I think I saw the original a long time ago and that's it. They had no Italian Joanne, they had no Italian food. Thanks, Snoozy. Yeah, it does. I did it on, on purpose. Timothy Chalamet. I, he's another one right now. Before it was that one girl from uh, Euphoria. What's her name? Like, they just go on these, like, you know. Ugh. I hate when they don't use people from the race of the person they're portraying in the movie. I hate that. Like, in Dune, Timothy Chalamet as that, um, who was the Middle Eastern person? <laughs> I don't know. Forgive me. But I saw a lot of, like, Arab people complaining about that. Use an Arab person. What? There's not one single Arab actor you can use. You have to put pointy chin Chalamet. <sighs> anyway, yeah, Zendaya. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of these actors are overrated. I can do a better. I can do a better job. Let me see here. Um, what can I do? Timothy's character supposed to be white. Really? No. He's playing Bob Dylan. Aladdin should have done it. <sighs> DXR. I zero percent agree with that. It's sci-fi. No, but isn't there like a Middle Eastern character? I saw a lot of people complaining about that. It's like, I can't remember the name. The, the Meti or something? The Meti? Okay, I don't remember. I just saw people complaining about it. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch the movie, thank you. Because I don't like Zendaya and I don't like Timothy Chalamet, so they would annoy me the whole movie. I mean, I don't like, not like them as people. I just mean, like, they get on my nerves, okay? And a lot of things get on my nerves. We should make a movie. <laughs> no, I can't act. Well, yeah, actually, I'm the best actor in the world. <clears throat> yeah, boobies. Babe! <laughs> Loyalty Beezer Club. <laughs> it was like, seven months. Tell me the sick, sick action channels. They don't have a single life obsessing with other lives going by frame without telling me they don't. Right? Yes, that's what I said. Pretty shit. Ladies, babies. <laughs> I didn't even know you were still a member. That's so cute. Yeah, all right? So, it is true, yeah. Uh, like, that's a new low, of going frame by frame for what? To reveal that I'm fat? Like, I'm on camera, people have eyes, they don't need your um, inspector gadget analysis. Kina Bear, snacky treats and penis for the OG Racking Howard, love for Howie. Maybe a new Princess Peach Pride? Thank you, Kina Bear. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. Actually, I'm gonna go get Howie just for you and give him some something left over. I'm gonna give him a chapati. Howie? How? He likes bread, a little piece. Won't hurt him. I'm giving him a lot worse. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah, a hundred. Have you watched any Arab dramas? No, oh, I never do. Salah though does. <laughs> How did you, babe? Lisa P. Remember for ten. Thank you, Lisa. Sorry I'm being saucy today, guys, but if you were me, you would understand. Radicia is so sick. No coming back. She's she's stunted. Thank you, Radicia. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa P. <laughs> uh. Here, drop hi. You're just in time. I was gonna go get Howard. Get him this thing. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute it. <sighs> you big man. Look. <laughs> you freak of nature. He put it in his cheek. Oh no. No no. Hi. <laughs> you stopped it! You big man! <laughs> you big man! <laughs> you put it in his cheeks! You know how cute you are, or you don't know? <laughs> Julia, don't worry, I won't ever get him. He's the cutest. His little hands. Why did you stuff it in your cheek? You're gonna keep it for later? Hmm? Mm, you big man. No, I'm not. Tuna Sambusa, yes! Hi, Angel of Mercy! You have mice? <laughs> Howard! Hi, Allie! 
Don't go towards Julia. Look at Julia. Come <laughs> I would never let her get him. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> it's just a hamster. <laughs> okay, you're going back now. Go away! <laughs> oh, you're... Oh, you do all. <laughs> you're big man. Oh. <sighs> the carpenters? No live murders. She just wants to be friends. I got this too. Yesterday. Here's the charm I was talking about trying to find a necklace for. For my grandma. It's a sterling silver little cat. If I, like, why is everything still in the bag then? Okay. Aren't you guys hard to be wrong? It must be exhausting. I got a new one of these, remember? My bl old black one? Look how worn it is. <laughs> so I got one of the same, but this one is worn. I'll just wear it in the house or something. And to go with this under cap, actually, I got this new blue hijab yesterday. <clears throat> the, the shopping footage from the hijab place, I'll put it in the next vlog I do, as I forgot to put it in the other one. Now this is going to look dumb over so many hijabs, but kind of like this. <clears throat> kind of like that. Come see, come sa. You like the black hair now? Blue is my color. I think um, like winter colors are more suitable for like my skin tone, you know? But yeah, so I got this nice blue hijab. <clears throat> Thank you, SVP. With the loose, thank you, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. What song? Which song? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like, where's my water? Yeah. Out. Close to you. Pair this one with a light one? Yeah. Maybe, hey. Tally home. Tally home. Tally home in Arabic means come here, by the way. Tally. For a girl, tally. And for a guy, tal. Right, babe? You can't wear belt. I know. This thing doesn't catch cat hair. I like the material on it. That's why I wear it. You know? <clears throat> yeah, it's exactly teardrop. As I told you, perfect hijab color, as I told you. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you did help me pick it out. Red, also nice. The worst is ham. <laughs> I like some things ham color. You should try a light yellow. Oh my gosh. I don't know about that. The only thing is, like, the hijab will change, change your face shape, right? Because it's like cutting a lot of flesh, so. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Thanks, Bodge Champ. Matches my eyes. My eyeshadow, yeah. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, kifik, kifik. For girl, kifak for man. Kifik means how are you, and then you can answer, tamam, and then you can ask how are you, went to kifak or kifik, and then, or you can say alhamdulillah, like thank god I'm good. Totally fits! Easter egg! <laughs> beige? No, I don't like beige. Hi! I like gray. I love gray cats, I don't know. I've always had gray cats. Olive swing tone. I love olive tones, yeah. Afwan. <laughs> yeah, you say Afwan after shukran, after thank you. The reporters on Al Jazeera wear lovely turbans. There's a lot of nice ones out there. Why do fruit flies suddenly appear every time I am near? That's because I am so smelly. I'm just joking. Hi. What are you looking at? Come here. I want to show you off to people because you're cute. <laughs> what did Akina say? What was I going to say? At the end of the day, hey, 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 yeah. Uh, don't care what you say. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Professional whiten? Yeah. I would. But I wouldn't get veneers or something like this. <sighs> I think it changes. Like, I'm afraid of, the, of them shaving down my teeth. That freaks me out. <laughs> Kina, it is 29.17. Fruit flies like sweet stuff, yeah. Not smelly stuff. Ira Busy. Is it common for women to work in Kuwait? Yeah. My birthday soon. <laughs> Beige Sam's leg. <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Mind your business? I forget the conversation. 
if my Kuwait housewife's judgmental because there's so no. I never talked to a Kuwait housewife though. Maybe once. She was very nice. Hi, Simply Ravishing. Honestly, I don't care if people judge me at the end of the day. Like, yeah, I rage a lot sometimes. Well, not a lot, but like not just rage, but like point out like hypocrisies and like stuff like that. But really, at the end of the day, I don't really care, you know, for example, what some somebody who looks or acts like FFG, for example, like thinking of the most obvious, like or somebody like just beaten today, like what they really think about me, how I look. I know how I look. I like how I look. Um, I know I'm fat, <laughs> whatever, you know, who cares? Anyways, people's looks, I guess, at, at the end are just irrelevant, whatever. You know, unfortunate for some people, but whatever. Don't get veneers teeth, are great. Thank you, Nosferatu. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. <laughs> is that the Vita song? It's what in your heart that counts. Yeah. Really? Thank you, Simply Ravishing. You're all beautiful, too. Yeah, my teeth. I don't know. They need some whitening, I guess. Weight can be lost, but inner evil is forever. <laughs> oh, this tag. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Unless you walk on water, you can miss me with your judgment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watch the haters try to walk on water. <laughs> the, the, the same haters going to hate. You can't battle all your haters. You can't do it. You know, you can pick on a few, but you can't battle them all. <sighs> Just racing. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> reverted 10 years ago my voice is professional <laughs> it's fake teeth but we'll never admit it so, i mean fake teeth do look good on some people some people they look too big you know like weird but i've seen like people like turkey teeth some people get a good job done there but a lot of them i've seen they don't even have space and then it causes people to get infections and things all the reactors use the word bees yeah i'm a trendsetter hello beesing is a way of life you know don't get them too white, yeah. Hi, Cozy. Most celebrities have fake, yeah. I mean, when you have a lot of money, you start thinking, oh, how can I improve myself? And a lot of it is pressure, you know? Gary Busey. <laughs> Eric Charons, mashallah. Yeah, the brown and blue. I think like a nice beige would look better under hair, yeah. <laughs> Your job, really? <laughs> Hi, baby, yell them shut up skins. I'm gonna throw this cap so she can play with it. She, her favorite toys are bottle caps. Do you know how many toys she has under the sofa? Well, no, the sofa. Yeah, she has toys under there, I'm sure. Her space. <laughs> Kina bear. <laughs> Kina, what pets do you have? I have a hamster, son. I have a, so I have a hamster. And I have a cat, yes. Yes, I do, yeah. Julia's fishy fish. Oh my gosh. So every evening when we watch a movie, or almost every evening, she lays beside me, or Salah, and we both complain every time because she gets close to us, and then she'll she'll look up at us and yawn right in her face and it smells because we feed her tuna flavored tuna chicken flavored wet food i don't know if it per like i don't know cat breath stinks like anyways it smells like hot gas and fish you're playing with the bubble cap it reeks oh. yes april if i croak then he'll take care of my cat our cat it's not mine it's ours maybe maria a lot of like Muslims I've been following, a few of them have moved to Malaysia. <clears throat> Is it Egypt? Inshallah someday. Hot gas and fish. And it's hot too, hot breath. So look up, look up and go. Big yawn, big yawn. <laughs> I don't brush her mouth. She won't even let me open her mouth. And I feel bad, so I don't do it. I faint by the smell of cat breath. It reeks. Hey, babe. Haters, AKA morons, AKA brainless, AKA losers, AKA hypocrites. We'll keep talking shit online and trash about the Queen Miriam as long as they talk, talk zombies, cheer them up, they watch them because of Miriam only. Yes. <laughs> Queen Miriam! Thanks, me. Babe, can you agree that Julia has fishy breath? Yeah, right, blue pot. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to pay. I would rather pay someone to brush her teeth. Hi, Golden Girl! How are you doing? Hi, Beezers. Yeah, Michelle, I heard that. Hi, Joanna! Why are you he's so jealous? Julia with the tuna breath. She has smelly, smelly breath. I like the smell of cat though. Like I like the smell of whenever I kiss her, I huff her head. <sighs> Whatever, I leave. 
your company is left. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, I get exhausted after having company for two hours. <laughs> Uh, yeah. My do oh, dog's breath is the worst. Yeah, it's worse, I find. They have bigger mouths, I guess. I don't know. No, you're not blocked. Either. I only like the smell of my cat's paws. In the litter box, <laughs> you, yeah. Sometimes they smell like corn chips, eh? The blocking finger. Stop being drama queen. <laughs> Sassy Salah. Three weeks? Oh my gosh, the golden girl. In two days, you were counting. <laughs> okay, let's have more water. Yeah, you're supposed to not have conflict or anything during Ramadan. But then again, most people are not followed by hundreds of brain dead morons. <laughs> uh, most people live very private lives. Sometimes I envy that. I have to tell you. Yeah, so I want a silver chain, but I, like, isn't it true? Babe, Muslim women don't wear gold, right? No, don't wear silver. But this is silver. I like it. Looking 12 months prego with such a beautiful face. I'm not saying I love being obese. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm also not going to hate myself. What does that achieve? Yeah, true teardrop. White gold is okay. More silver. More cooking videos? I don't know the reason behind it, Eileen. Muslim men cannot wear gold, yeah. Oh, white gold necklace. Yeah, that's what you guys mean. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye, ghost face. April, do you glad to hear that, but I'm really busy for my business and health issue, but of course we will be back for couples videos. No other reason than what I said. Yeah. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, his company's always coming out with different, like, lines of different types of products. <clears throat> so. I don't know the reason. No, you can't have my necklace. Come. 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 I got gotcha. you. No, no. in the bag come here pretty girl i'm sorry i'm sorry yes she's too hyper yeah i keep the, the yeah exactly blue pot. <laughs> yeah you're trans exactly i don't care about individuals i like who i like and follow who i follow been following chantal for a long time same with candy even some reaction people like jordan is adorable yeah like everyone can follow who they want you know she likes to be touched, Murray, but not, sometimes she, she doesn't love to be picked up, I notice. Um, a lot of cats don't, but she loves to be pet. Like if I'm, um, if we're laying still and chilling out, she loves to come up to us and we pet her all like all night. I don't know if she was an outdoor cat. We got her from a friend of Salah's and like somebody Salah knew. And um, she could have been somebody that they picked up outside and kept her and like gave her away. I'm not sure. Hi, Pam Anderson. Hey, Energy Egg and Haima. And who else? Camilla. Pickles, yum. She might have been. Most cats were from the streets here. You saw that gang of cats. I know people felt bad for those cats, but they were not amazed. They were well fed. Like they were in a crowd. And Salah was concerned about these cats because the way they were acting and crying, it was like they were like, don't you come near our stuff. Like they were in a gang, you know, instead of the friendly individual cats at the park. So these were like, they gave off a different vibe. <laughs> Hi, please stand by. Thanks for being here, Rhonda. Thank you, Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you. Nice to see you, Beezer. She's almost two. She's beautiful. She's graceful. She's almost two. She's the princess for me. Hold on, I gotta give her some food. Boy, you want some crunchy crunch? Okay, I'll give you some crunchy crunch. You have crunchy crunch. Yeah. Come on, no more crunchy crunch. Yeah. <laughs> she's a big yell. Yeah, she's almost two. Who's that wonderful girl? Uh-huh. Could she be any cuter? Uh-uh. <laughs> Main Coon. I think Salah was, I mean, Salah. <laughs> Salah part Main Coon. I think Sam was part Main Coon. An outfit for Eid. Not yet. I still have time. Hi, Alpha Tango. Rat face. I don't know why I do that. Anyways. Why are you a piggy pig? <laughs> yeah, so I I need Kleenex. She looks Persian. Yeah, she has a smushy face. When she looks, her side profile is so cute. Because, you know, like, I'm not used to, like, BBJ and Sam, they had noses, you know? 
hurts like smoosh. <laughs> so, but she, uh, that makes me feel like she's part version at least. Cutie girl. <laughs> she's so cap. Yeah. Your side profile is funny. It's smooshy smoosh. Smooshy smoosh. Aww. You have six cats? Julia's so cute. Thank you. Me, I have, no, no, I had two cats before. The smoosh gets me every time, yeah. <laughs> Aww. This chat is the best ever. I agree, babe. I have three cats and two dogs. Oh my gosh, must keep you busy. Who's losing teeth? Who's a wonderful girl? <sighs> Thanks, Snoozy. They're still alive. At least one is, I think. No, Sam is definitely alive. I'm losing all my teeth? No, I only have the same two that are missing. <laughs> but we're all going to lose our teeth at some point. It sucks, but happens. You have a cat and a hamster? Nice, Michelle. Hijab cover, they look so pretty on you. Which ones? This one? This is a hijab. Hijab. And this is all, this is my favorite material. It's not, it's not, it's like a, it's not like a jersey, but it is. I don't know. But I want to get more of these. <laughs> Julia, Julia is hood. What? <laughs> Julia. <laughs> Julia's a hood cat. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, well, she's a hood cat. They're just worth, just as valuable as any other cat. Okay. And let me tell you, purebred Persians, they look like Wilford Brimley. Okay. So, ugh. <laughs> yeah, this is the heat, the cap. And this is the hijab. Basically, though, anything covering you is called a hijab. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> She's not good, just a mutt. Julia gets ghetto, she would handle Sam. <laughs> Flower. Baby girl. Sam and the other just racing today. I do not like her, but there's one reaction channel. I do like your mama. <laughs> Yo, mama, yeah. Yeah, Vanessa, right? Julia has hood breath. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean, hood? Hood Julia. I have a real person. Julia's hood. <laughs> what? That's so mean. What does that even mean? I don't even know. Julia. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with coming from the hood, okay? All right. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Who cares? Okay. First of all, question. Is ghetto the same as hood? And if it is, I'm assuming it just means that you come from an area that's in a different socioeconomic class, which means, who cares? I lived in the hood as a kid a few times. It was kind of traumatic, but actually one building we lived in, oh my gosh, I told you about this, I think, right? When I was young. That's where, this is where I developed my fear of elevators because the fire alarms and the electricity would always go off and we got stuck in an elevator once. It was bad. A few times I got stuck in an elevator as a kid. The ghetto means poor. Why do people make fun of it then? If it means poor, you shouldn't make fun of poor people. Tree lady? <laughs> Babe, the daylight is stunning behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because it's right near the window. Maybe people think that. I don't know. You're seasoned? Yes, Canadians love ketchup chips. <laughs> she's a, she's, she has to at least be part Persian. Have you seen their apartment complex? It is not hood. Yeah. Oh, here? No, we're not. No. I don't know. I don't think we're in the hood. I don't even know if that exists. Like, I don't know what the, technically that is. Like, I don't know <laughs> what qualifies as, you know, Cornwall is the hood. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, uh, April. Siamese. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? No way. I did my own makeup, Taylor. What country is that? Yeah, we have ketchup chips here, too. Can Salah come say hi? I don't think so. There is no large villas in there. Oh, yes, that's true. Kuwaiti areas are different, separate. <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't mind where we live. I don't mind uh, mixing with expats and stuff. It doesn't bug me. Been basically poor my whole life and not ashamed to say it. Yeah, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, it's more shameful for... No, never mind. I won't get into that. I was going to say for people to be super rich and be like... I hope really rich people share the wealth with you. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a, Saudi was a different flag. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, we have them here too. We have a lot of Saudi Arabian products like Kinza soda. 
<clears throat> have many times of being poor and having tons of money. I've learned it doesn't really make a lot of difference as long as the bills are paid, I'm good. That's true. When I was making a lot more money, I didn't don't notice a difference really in I was like more miserable even. You know. Yes, we do give to charity actually. I mean, not a ton of money, but if we had more. Um, there's actually like calculators of like what you should be giving based on how much you make. <laughs> so you can figure out like what's you know good to give based on your income. What food does he hate that Westerners love? Mm. He doesn't love cheeseburgers. Right, babe? You don't love them. If I give you if I give him a bite, he'll be like, not bad, but he doesn't ever order a cheeseburger. Applebee's! Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> How does that music go in Sonic again? I forget. Are the buses in your parking lot for the expat workers? Um, there's buildings around ours. Like, this building is a family building. So when you want to rent here, you have to show that you're either married. Well, you have to be married. You have to show you're married. But you have to either be, like, married. You can't just be, like, a single guy. A lot of the expat workers, yeah, those are buses, like, that take them to their work and back. Um, so sometimes you see, like, hundreds, like, a lot of people coming off. But, um... Yeah, a lot of people from different countries come here to work, particularly like from India, the Philippines, and um, they, there's a lot of buildings around in the area that do house, like usually the employer will pay for their their room and board and food and stuff like that, and transportation, so that's why. <clears throat> yeah, very different like reality than, no, it's not really. We have a lot of expat, we have a lot of uh, migrant workers in Canada too. They must work very hard, yeah. You can't be single and rent here. That's like the number one proof <laughs> that we're married without ever showing anybody anything like without, they don't deserve it but <laughs> you have to be married like we had to show a certificate to live here so to, he doesn't dislike cheeseburgers yeah he doesn't like or hate cheeseburger exactly <laughs> what's one thing i don't know babe hi louis you he likes shepherd's pie but he didn't love it and he didn't like that there was corn in it where do single people live um there's some i don't know there must be some buildings that you can just rent, I guess, if you're single. Babe, I don't know, really. But there's some buildings you have to be fam that are family only, and they'll say family only. So there must be some buildings where you can rent for just single people. Bachelor, I think they call it. Yeah, there is, because whatever... Yes, because you lived as a bachelor before, babe, in an apartment. So there are some that are like that. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if they have Airbnbs. They have hotels. I never said he was rich and had a mansion actually having your own car in your own place and money to afford bills and food is rich in a lot of ways if you think about it nowadays it's so hard to live these days for a lot of people students in long stay tours can live alone yeah unless you unless you're in a specific building that says family only you just have to have wasta <laughs> you know wasta right <laughs> yeah wasta wasta yeah there's only families and there's only single people for rent here for sure Airbnbs. <laughs> yeah, we could become rich. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, I heard that. But only for non-Muslim people, like travelers, right? Really, Marie? Family only for people with kids. Could be a married couple, too, because maybe we like they're planning on having kids. So family only means you have to be married or have a family, yeah. Hi, Dirty. Are the buildings for singles co-ed? Mm, I don't think it's not legal, Krista, for men and women to live together if they're not married. So, yeah. <laughs> One month you'll be an expat? No way, Darity, really? It's just some... Some buildings just only want families. You have food. Why are you sniffing the food bag? <gasps> are you going to give me gray hair? Maybe he has. I don't know if women can rent or not. Honestly, I don't know the rules. Do they have single men only buildings and single women buildings? I don't know, Krista. I don't know, babe. Do they have buildings only for women? Oh, hmm. I didn't know that. Do you hear her drinking water? Maybe yes. Hi. <laughs> You've given up on men. <laughs> mind your business needs to mind your business. <laughs> Hi. You 
pretty girl and she got skimmed. What? Time to go cuddle. Time to go cuddle. Watch a movie move. Her was a Ford woman. She lives in Ullman, though. Women here can rent an apartment here alone or ask families buildings. They have two options, but the men only one option, which is the single building rent. Oh, really? The women can live in the family's building. Okay. Okay, Elamore, thanks for being here. Thank you. What, Applebee's? What is that? An American vlogger teacher? I, yeah, there's a few that have uh, social media. Thank you, Dirty. So single women can live in family buildings. Ah. If they have kids. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is when we rented here, he had to show Salah. Had to show uh, his residency, his uh, income, making a certain amount of money, and our marriage certificate we showed. That's all I know. So many girls, the other problem is having enough money to pay rent anywhere. I know, I know. I don't know what Jasmine's is. The moonshine, oh my gosh, are you trying to die? <laughs> You, wasta? <laughs> you guys in your wasta <laughs> yeah true i said that yeah it depends on the building too like some buildings don't want single people no matter man or woman i'm pretty sure right babe <laughs> i'm yeah i don't think i ever had one trying did i i don't know you guys would know more than me <laughs> excuse me the white claw Remember when people were obsessed with that drink? Ugh. <sighs> teachers from other countries. A lot of teachers, because whenever you come to work here, you need an employer and you're, you're under contract with that employer on a work visa. So a lot of them will provide your place for you. A lot of teachers included, they get provided an apartment. So they don't really have to seek out their own apartment. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of kids here. But we don't really hear our neighbors that often. Not compared to the other place. Maybe because there's only like three apartments per floor. Don't know. Moonshine pickles. <laughs> I hate the heat. Yeah. It's, you, ugh, the summer here is, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's literally the hottest place on the planet. Like, other than uh, Death Valley, which I think it's pretty on par with. I don't even know. Every time I see a lot of news articles that say that Kuwait's the hottest recorded temperature on the planet. We hired an immigration lawyer? That's smart. Beth Bopino. Yes, I've made that before. It's so good. J'aime bien le Beth Bopino. Belmaz. Yes. What's the hottest recorded temperature of Death Valley? I wonder. Cold winters, cold as in it goes down sometimes to like minus, it goes down to uh, maybe 12 degrees, 10 degrees Celsius. The coldest, never in the minus. Domes of the side, yes. Are there any geysers? I don't know, Banna. The desert is cold at night, yeah. 130, which is what Celsius, I wonder. Here it's been up to sometimes, I think it was recorded at like minus 55. I mean, 55 degrees Celsius. That's all. No, it doesn't snow here. No. 80 degrees is hot for me. I know. 60 Celsius in the summer. Yeah, you're right, babe, actually. I remember seeing that. The deserts. Yeah, the desert is nice. Especially if you're not from here, but I can imagine, Salah, you're probably sick of it a bit. Like, being here your whole life. You know, you kind of want to see some more green and some more... I like coming from Four Seasons, but I don't like... I don't love winter. Thank you, Tommy Wiso. Wow, duck puppet. Ugh, it's hot. I never tried snowboarding. I tried skiing. Okay, so it's actually been hotter off the tango here. It's been like up to 60. It's crazy. And some people work outside in that. <laughs> like, it's not funny, but you're from the Philippines. Texas heat is different. Uh, yeah, tropical and yeah. <laughs> you like the colder temperature right here drop like me? Switzerland. 
really? Uh, SUNY Wanderer. It works in the heats. 55 centigrade. I don't know, Jack. We don't have to pay for utilities, alhamdulillah. But our AC is on year round. <laughs> it never goes off. Never, never, never. It gets a lot harder than people think. Ugh. Anyways, guys and girls and uh, whatever else you identify as, I don't know. I feel like I need to be more inclusive. I hate saying guys and girls, especially when there's more genders than that. They can keep the snowy like hot weather. <laughs> I know Golden Girl, you snowbird. That's a jerboa. I've been to a couple moths, Marie, but not often. I like to pray in the home. Jerboas? I gotta go Google that. It's hot in Jeddah. Yeah, I bet. Long-legged mouse. Oh, I've seen that. Cute. Okay, guys. Yeah, you too, Dirty. Everybody, have a good night. I'm gonna get off of here now. Go re relax with my family. <laughs> Are you ready, babe? Yeah, true, babe. Kuwait weather is something else. I, whenever, whenever, I didn't research Kuwait before coming here. When uh, Salah so was like, you should come visit me. So I was like, yeah, I need to go to Kuwait. What an adventure that will be. Then I saw after, Kuwait is the hottest country. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and I hate the heat. Hate it. Okay, good night, guys. Thanks for beezing, and we'll bees again soon. Inshallah. All right. Good night, Jerusha. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. I'm just getting off. Oh, boy. Okay, good night, guys. <laughs> Bye.